Apical four chamber view. Turn the patient onto their left side as this will pull the heart forward in the chest for better visualization. Scan down the nipple line with the dot aiming towards the patient's axilla. Tilt the probe upwards towards the patient's point of maximal intensity to obtain the view. You may need to tilt up and down with the probe to obtain the best image. The view will be projected upside down and backwards on the ultrasound screen. Note the chambers are labeled for each structure. The parasternal long axis view. Begin by placing the probe at the second intercostal space at the left sternal border. The dot will be pointing in the direction of the patient's right shoulder. Scan down the left sternal border until the image comes into view. You may need to tilt or rock your probe to obtain the best image. Note the chambers are labeled for each structure. Parasternal short axis view. Moving from the long axis positioning, you will now rotate your probe clockwise until the dot is directed towards the patient's left shoulder. Tilt and rock your probe to obtain the best view. Note we are visualizing the papillary muscle view of the left ventricle. The chambers are also labeled for each structure. Subcostal long axis view. Place the probe at the subcostal area with the dot aiming directly to the patient's left side. Press the probe down and angle the probe up and slightly to the left. You will note the liver at the top of the screen with the four chamber view below. The chambers are labeled for each structure. The inferior vena cava. To obtain the IVC view, begin with the subcostal view and narrow in on the right atrium. Turn the probe counterclockwise until the dot is facing the patient's head. Slightly tilt the probe to the patient's right to bring the IVC into view. Note the IVC runs through the liver. The structures are labeled.